It's midsummer. It's hot. The flowers of early spring are a thing of the past. Most are already setting seed. This could be a really tough time of year for pollinators as there's not a ton of plants that bloom in the heat of summer, but there are some native plants that do still bloom at this time of year. I'm Anthony with Backyard Ecology and today I'm going to tell you about five easy to grow native plants that will bloom in the heat of summer. Number one, Rudbeckias, specifically black-eyed and brown-eyed Susans. The black-eyed Susan, Rudbeckia herta, is a common wildflower in the eastern U.S. The flowers are bright yellow with a dark center that is two to three inches across. Flowers form singly on one to two foot long stems, making them good for cut flowers. Stems and leaves are covered with trichomes, the things people call hairs on plants, and are quite fuzzy looking. Brown-eyed Susans, Rubeckia triloba, resemble black-eyed Susans but tend to grow taller, up to five feet, have many branches, and have smaller, more numerous flowers. They have roughly the same distribution in the eastern U.S. as their cousins, the black-eyed Susans. As the scientific name implies, brown-eyed Susans have three-lobed leaves, at least on the lower parts of the plant. Both black and brown-eyed Susans attract a wide range of pollinators, including native bees, butterflies, and honeybees. They both prefer to be planted in full sun. Number two, purple coneflower, Echinacea purpurea. Purple coneflower is a well-known North American native that is widespread, easy to grow, attracts a wide range of pollinators, and takes the heat really well. Purple coneflower has large purple flowers with rust-colored centers that form at the ends of long stems. It can get tall, up to five feet, but is usually shorter. This is a great plant for pollinators and attracts a wide range of butterflies and native bees. Bumblebees are especially fond of purple coneflower. It is also the host plant for the silvery checker spot butterfly, and their spiky black caterpillars can often be found on the foliage. An added bonus for purple coneflower is that goldfinches will come to eat the seeds in late summer and early fall. Number three, mountain mints of the genus Pycnanthemum. These plants are absolute pollinator magnets and are attractive to a wide variety of native bees, honeybees, butterflies, and wasp. A patch of mountain mint is usually just literally buzzing with pollinators. Several species of mountain mint can be found in the eastern U.S. All are attractive to pollinators and all have white flowers. Three commonly available mountain mint species are narrow leaf or slender mountain mint, Pycnanthemum tenuifolium, hairy mountain mint, Pycnanthemum pelosum, and hoary mountain mint, Pycnanthemum incanum. These are some of my favorite plants for the pollinator garden as mountain mints are hardy, easy to grow, have a long bloom period, and attract such a diversity of cool insects. Most mountain mints can be grown in full sun to partial shade. If you are finding the information in this video useful, please pollinate that like button. Number four, bee balms or bergamots, plants in the genus Monarda, another group of species that is commonly found across the eastern United States. Bee balms have awesomely cool flowers, and depending on the species can be shades of purple, red, or white. Species commonly seen in pollinator gardens are the lavender to purple flowered wild bergamot, Monarda fistulosa, the striking red flowered scarlet bee balm, Monarda diduma, the purple flowered lemon bee balm, Monarda citriodora, and the white bee balm, Monarda clinopodia. Bee balms are attractive to native bees, butterflies, and the pollinator gardener favorite, hummingbirds. They are hardy and easy to grow, although they do tend to get powdery mildew, but it doesn't seem to have any negative effects. Most bee balms do best in full sun to part shade. To learn more about attracting pollinators to your backyard, check out the book, Attract Pollinators and Wildlife to Your Backyard, 15 Free and Easy Ways by my wife, Shannon. It's available from us at the Backyard Ecology website Link is in the description. Number five, Rattlesnake Master, Ringium yuccifolium, the plant with the coolest name on this whole list. Not named because it has some crazy power over rattlesnakes, but because it was used as a snake bite treatment in times gone by. It not only has a cool name, but it is also a super cool plant too. Having foliage that looks more like a yucca or succulent than an Eastern North American species, Rattlesnake Master also has crazy looking flowers. They look like silvery gray spike balls. Although not colorful, they are one of my favorite wildflowers, and it's not just me. Butterflies love them too. So do native bees and some brightly colored beetles. Rattlesnake Master is very hardy and easy to maintain. It seems to thrive on neglect. Plant it in full sun. 
a must have in my mind for a pollinator planting. A bonus fact on Rattlesnake Master, the woodland and archaic period Native Americans actually would collect it and make fiber from the leaves and stems, make it into cordage, and then weave it into items such as moccasins and baskets. Pretty cool. So there you have it, five easy to grow native plants that bloom in the heat of summer. To find out more information on native plants, check out this video and be sure to subscribe to the Backyard Ecology channel and go out and explore nature in your backyard.